Yeah, YouTubers, Taz Man here, and I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but I'm bringing you another episode of Stone Block, where we're, uh, let's be honest, I have no idea, we're just trying to survive. <laughs> we're not trying to bring a cold, dead, desolate world back to life here. No, that's regrowth. And uh, we don't even know if there's much of a world up there or down there or wherever we are. So uh, we're just trying to survive here in Stone Block. All right. So uh, in our last episode, uh, we did some fun stuff. And I've been a little bit busy. I've been preparing this episode a little more than I've done most because I we have a bunch of crafting things that I wanted to get done. I can't find them in the, cra uh, in the quest book. I don't know if they unlock later or what. But my good buddy Elysium has chimed up and shared his a vast, his or her, I'm sorry, I don't know uh, if you're a boy or girl, so I apologize if I give you the wrong gender. But uh, there, let's say, gave me a their vast knowledge of the game and the mod pack, Stoneblock. Just like, just like good old Sky is always sharing his knowledge, I do no gender there, uh, with me in the in the mod pack of regrowth. So let's go ahead and begin. Hey, hello there. By the way, look, I keep killing these guys and it just keeps stacking their heads on me. <laughs> Sometimes I remember. So first thing I did is I was going through my chests, my chests over here, and I noticed I had another type of tree, this menrils mineral slap sapling so I planted one here but I don't know it's not it hasn't been grown but then I went ahead and planted it here uh, did another hopper set up here and it's been growing and it's giving me these little berry things and these crystallized things and yeah it's it's stuff I don't know exactly what it is but it looks important the other thing I started growing uh, is good old jungle saplings and mostly for the cocoa beans because we use those for dyes and that has a lot to do with what our episode is today so um, we were talking a little bit about the chickens back in that area over there and I don't know what to do with them and you know all that stuff and Elysium has chimed up and uh, has shared some knowledge as I said with me and he mentions or uh, they mention <laughs> whoever it is Elysium maybe I should just say that Elysium mentions that um, that we can make something called a chicken catcher uh, and for that we'll leave that for now as you can see back in here I have lots of uh, lag maybe oh there we go like my game just paused for a second there uh, hopefully it wasn't too bad for you guys but we have lots of um, extra chickens and what I did was I placed a thing a chicken uh, chicken seeds right here and it made a compressed chicken baby so then I fed it a whole bunch of seeds and then uh, killed the baby or well it wasn't a baby anymore killed the chicken and it exploded into I think there was probably an additional four so maybe eight chickens and what I was doing was killing them in hopes of getting a feather but I don't think these guys drop feathers so uh, that's what we need so for this chicken catcher that he's mentioning or they the Elysium is mentioning uh, we need an egg a stick and a feather now, if we go look, <coughs> that was some other research I was doing. So if we go look at chicken down here, we have the chicken catcher. We need a feather. Now, in order to get a feather, uh, if we go to uh, recipe, we need chicken essence, which we got, right? We need to have this nesting pen, um, which we're going to look into. And we need to have one of 62 billion chickens. Look at all these chickens, man. They're so cool. Uh, but anyway, it looks like once we get this nesting pen, we can get feathers. Um, also, we can get in a loot bag. We've actually had lots of loot bags, and green have been amongst them. Now, I haven't had a chance to go look yet, but I'm hoping that maybe we've got some feathers 
like a ton of feathers because we killed quite a few things in our mob farm so i would think we might have a good amount of feathers i don't know um what was the loot what was the drop chance of the of the feathers so go here go here uh the chance of getting feathers is i guess it's just random it doesn't actually have a chance so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go check our loot bags i think i even have some loot bags that i haven't even opened yet over there and i can drop off this stuff while i'm there too Except for the redstone. I need the redstone for something a little bit later. All right, so if we run over here, and part of what I was researching is a way of, like if you look at the tough mob farm uh, that I've made, if you go look at those tutorials or whatever, uh, it goes way up and then the mobs fall about, uh, uh, they drop 23 blocks, which takes most of them except zombies down to a one hit kill and Enderman of course there can't get kill either but let's see what we got here nothing nothing hey that's what i was looking for in my other isn't this the elven one i was looking for this in my other series <laughs> in the regrowth how do i get back to the index no not share uh it, all right, so I guess I should stay on track. As my daughter says, I always go off track. Oh, there we go, four. I think we only need one. Let's just take all of them in case. But that's good. We actually got a feather. Dude, I thought I had new feathers over here, too. I did put these guys here at the end of last episode before I even started doing all this, just to clear up my inventory. Uh, nope. This one. All right. So let's, oh, no, 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 not you. Uh, let's go ahead and put you in there, you in there, you in there. And no, 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 not you. <laughs> Although I guess we could. Okay, so I do have a plan on, uh, I'm hoping it'll be a cool mob grinder that will just be insanely efficient as long as we're around here. It should be really good. Okay, so let's go make that chicken catcher and test it out on some of our chickens in this uh, area where we're at. <laughs> And then, uh, Elysium was also saying that you want to go to the nether and catch, I think it was a netherite chicken and soul, soul sand chicken. So let's see how this thing works. Do I just hit them or right click? Let's try right click because that's usually, oh it did, it turned him into a little icon. Which is what he's, what Elysium, sorry. What Elysium said is you just, uh, and this does have durability, so we need to be a little bit careful with that. Well, that's kind of cool. So now, so actually we could, so can we throw these chickens? No, actually I think, uh, I think uh, Elysium, <laughs> Elysium said that, uh, that uh, what you do with them is you Put them in the roost or something like that. We're going to go run to the nether real quick and hopefully not die. Let me check. I, I'm pretty sure usually when I uh, set up a game that I'm going to record online and stuff, I do set a couple things. And I think I did it on here, but I want to make sure. Uh, game rule. Game rule. Rule. Uh, do, 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 mob. Oh, we have to do this first. Open to land, allow cheats. No, enjoy my game. No, I'm just kidding. You can't enjoy my game. So, uh, nope. What was that? Batania share, Batania entry. I don't even know what that is. Um, so, if we do this game rule, if we hit up arrow, no, I don't know. Game rule, uh, mob griefing. And let's just see. So right now it's set to true. I like to set this to false just so creepers don't blow up my stuff. The other one I like to set, I thought I already did it, but apparently I didn't, is the keep inventory. And the reason I set that isn't because I don't want to go find my stuff. It's because, um, no griefing is true, so did I yeah, I said it's fault. Uh, the reason I said that is because it makes for a very boring episode if you're way out in the middle of nowhere 
to get killed and have to during the episode go find it or you have to make the choice of during the episode say all right well i guess we're ending early or whatever because i need to go get my stuff so you can think that's not very good or whatever i i understand um but that's just how i roll all right so we've been here as you recall and we very gassed we have a rig do we have any ammo left? 39 so we should be okay um i want to go ahead really quick maybe right off this corner hit j and we'll go ahead and create us a waypoint so we can find our way back here and choose a nice purple color maybe since it's the input of a nether portal p-o-r-t-k-l what's this up in the corner don't know there we go so now we have purple portal okay so what we need to do is find an area that isn't just this giant plateau floating in the air where we might be able to find some chickens and then we want to I imagine all we really care about is two oh my heavens we're up high and I'm not sure oh we're up way high <laughs> um, there's what is that down there oh here's is this stairway going no that's not going where I want it to go that's for sure um, dude we're like on this giant platform we gotta get down alright so maybe over by the portal just so we know where it is we started going this way how far did we get and did we find another area this is where we did some uh, mining vein mining right actually did I do that on camera I don't know what it oh my gosh we're up so high oh crud back up back up back up, back up. I'm not in the mood to fight him right now so we kind of have over here where I was doing my vein mining maybe we could actually kind of stair step down and I do know we need to be careful of uh, whatchamacallits the darn the the silver fish in the end in silver fish I can't remember what they're called oh, please tell me we can get somewhere here it is so dark too isn't it um let's see so now we'll just cruise through this stuff <gasps> jeez all right, so maybe hmm, I don't have any gravel, do I? I need some kind of block that falls, or I don't know. Does it look like maybe if I go this way? No, like we're completely floating. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, let's go ahead and put one there and one there just so we remember that there's a hole here maybe if I can go get gravel which we have at the base or we can have and sometimes it spawns around here too um, or we could try and maybe go this way Might as well be using another axe since I'm gonna have just boatloads of it. <laughs> okay, so we'll just kind of hopefully stair step down here and maybe not find a giant hole that leads to our death. <laughs> Let's go ahead and 
place a torch. I well, actually, no. I was going to say, I think we're getting a little lower than we were in that other one, but we actually were pretty low. Nope. <laughs> Dang it. Oh. It does seem like it kind of goes up over there. I don't know. <laughs> Well, actually, you know what? I really probably should put uh, my cobble right here so I don't fall through that. Yes. Oh, we gotta find a way down so we can find chickens. I think our best bet is to maybe make a gravel pillar on that other side. So let's run back home real quick. Actually, you know what? We'll hold off on the chickens. Um, just because we can't get any. So let's let's just go ahead and we'll go work on the other stuff that I was gonna work on. Let's see where have I been. That's where I put well, I put some netherrack in there. Glowstone. Oak wood. Yeah, put the soul stone in there, that in there. Don't think I need those right now. I'm getting really messy with my inventory again. All right, so let's go ahead and eat it. Cooked apple, num num num. And let's just start doing this stuff over here. So we got a visitor. So that was the first thing we need to do. Then, if you were reading that thing, uh, the what was it? How to what was it under? Oh, how to get feathers. They said we needed some stuff. So here are what we have. Um, we need a nest to hatch eggs. So like uh, this rooster in here, right? We have this rooster in here. We have this guy right here, right? And, oh, I have to have an empty hand, I think. There we go. Remember we put this wood egg in him? So we bred these two guys together, and if we look at them, they're tier one, growth one, gain one. Well, tier one's irrelevant, but growth one, gain one, strength one is um, their different things. So growth is how fast they grow up, I guess. So when they're a baby, how quick they grow up? I don't know. Or it could also be the time next egg in four minutes. So the higher the growth is, I'm just thinking comparing it to... Um, the other one that I did. So if you really like uh, Agricraft, uh, has the same type of thing with growth one, gain one, strength one. In fact, I almost would think that this mod was influenced by Agricraft. Uh, if you really want to understand the growth one, gain one, strength one in Agricraft, you should definitely go check out my uh, regrowth series. So what we can do is we can have, uh, let's just put it here for now. So we can put this little nest down, and then we can put this egg in the nest. Wait, is that the wrong kind of nest? I think that might be the wrong kind of nest. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that in just a second then. So uh, what we do here, I think, is in this part, we can make the roost. Collects eggs laid by chickens. So maybe this is just a collecting block? And then can we access it? Wait, let's try this. So we put this guy kind of in the middle of the room. I don't know what the range of it is. Do we even have a middle in this room? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. So we do have a middle. It's probably roughly right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. So I'm assuming... I don't know how you get eggs out of it. I don't know. We'll, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, but what we need is we need the roost. Now remember this was, no, this wasn't one of the things. So we're actually looking at two mods here. So this mod that we're looking at here is called roost mod. And then the one, uh, do I want to get into that? This is part of the roost mod. Then we have, this is the nest I was talking about. It's the hatchery mod. Actually, it's three mods. Uh, this one, uh, we need the part of that. And then uh, that's different. So we have at least three mods that I know of. So we have the chickens mod, 
we have the roost mod and we have the uh, hatchery mod. So I think if we like put this guy right here, and then we can put one of those chickens we got in here. But let's try, well, let's put them over here. I am so prepared for this because I have never done it before. So I'm sure Elysium will let me know if I'm doing this all wrong. So if I'm right, what we can do then is put this chicken inside here. Oop. And there we go. And in the roost, I think they go faster. So it says progress for... Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Can I... There we go. So I think this is where it will have eggs. I don't know if they stack or anything. Oh, four chickens are in there. Oh, I didn't know they stacked. Maybe that's why it's going fast. Oh, look. It did pick up my name. So how do I pick you? Okay. Ah, can I put you back? No. So, I, like I said, I don't know the range on that, but this definitely seems to pick up eggs, which is pretty handy. Uh, we'll have to see how many it holds. Um, the other thing we have here is... Uh, this guy and I'm not exactly sure the chicken breeder. So this one we use Do we need like multiple? Let's just go throw it down and check <laughs> That's how I roll um, So if we put this in this corner Yeah, so we can put two chickens in here. So if we take our two wood chickens, I think uh, oh, Okay, he's right there then we come here right click and we do these two here now I'm assuming this uses hay because everything in this mod so look it has a little curtain okay so this doesn't gather poop though that's not cool I mean I was thinking of setting up like a system underneath here with like mine cards or something that would go gather all the the drops that they do uh, but if we come what was I doing? I need hay. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, maybe we can get some hay here. Or maybe it's seeds. We can try both. It does seem like some of these mod things use hay. Uh, and other ones seem to use seeds. So let's grab seeds too. And then we'll grab hay bells. Which I did that again. I just stacked them up in my inventory. And not anything else. Okay. Oops. I can't do it there. Dang it. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, man. We're out of time. Um, so we're going to try and hurry. Just get through these guys really quick. Is it four? Or... Nope. It's that. So if we do that, uh, we can take these hay bells. We can... Or maybe seeds. I guess we'll find out. So, oh, it does say no seeds. So this one's seeds. So I'll have to put a whole stack of seeds in there. And what this is going to do is breed these two. Now, as we recall, these were both 111 chickens. They're going to make a chicken that is a little higher. Now, I was trying to s explain uh, what those values were, but now they're, well, you can kind of see here the growth one. Uh, the strength one is how much influence. So, like if I had a log chicken and another type of chicken, the strength is if I have a strength on the log chicken of two and a strength of one on, say, the flint chicken, um, then the odds that I'm going to get a, a log chicken are higher because it has the bigger influence. I believe. And then the last one is the uh, gain. And that's how many, or that's probably actually how quick. I don't know. It, in the in the agri-craft, the growth is how quick the plant grows. The gain is how many it yields. So if you have a gain of 10, it will yield 4. And if you have a gain of 1, or up to, I think, 4, it only yields 1. Uh, things so like with wheat I would only get one wheat all the way until gain of five then I get two and then I think it's around eight or something like that I finally get or no is it four exactly or a gain of ten I think we get four anyway you should check out that video if you want to uh, see it so the next thing we have <coughs> in our list here is this this is the nest I was thinking of so 
Uh, I made a couple of these, and part of that is because one of these nestuses go in there. Uh, but if we take this nest and we bring it in here, I think she'll like that corner. There, you can't be in there now. Now we can actually take this wood, or the log chicken egg, and we can throw it in the nest. Now here you can see it's not incubating. It's not hatching at all. It says zero. But if I stand on it, you'll see it goes up pretty slowly. 1%, so on and so forth. The other thing we can do is we can put... Oh, I don't have them on me. Of course. We can actually come over here and get some disco lights. Get these guys right here. And go, I think you can go up to two. Oh, that ain't going to work though. Five. Because I'm going to have to have a spot above them. Then if we take, do I have a lever on me? No, I don't, but I can make one. I hope. As long as I have cobble. Do that. We'll go ahead and turn this one on. Bing. Like that. It'll turn on those two. Uh, if we go here. And we just throw oh, where'd that redstone dust go? Right there. Can I grab you? Yes. Alright, so grab the redstone dust, go boop, 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 boop. Boop, and finally boop. That turns on all these. So now you'll see this egg is actually hatching on its own. It's going up a lot faster than if I'm sitting on it. You can see 17. And that's because these are, I guess, warming lamps. So we could actually have five, five little guys right here. Five guys hatching. Let's see how this guy's 47. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and look at the next thing we have here is where we put our nest in this is going to give us the nesting pen now this one i think we can just take a chicken i don't know how we get the chicken in there to the truth. maybe we just take one of these chickens but this is from the roost mod so i don't know that it would be the same i don't know i might have to figure that out but uh, the other thing I wanted to make really quick is we take a compass and we take an egg and we get this chicken analyzer. So this lets us analyze chickens uh, to see what their levels and stuff is. And it does take durability damage. I don't think it will work on the rooster. Let's just try. No, it didn't work on the rooster, but it will work on chickens, I believe. Or maybe only the specialty chickens. So once this has the little baby, we'll be able to do that or when this baby hatches we'll be able to do that um let's throw down this guy right here and use an animal net oh we don't that's what we need is an animal net what's the animal net how do we make an animal net net oh we're going way over and i apologize for that there it is right there so three string and three sticks all right let's just try this real quick i just want to kind of get this started so i can do some of this stuff off camera the breeding part if it's anything like the agricraft can take forever and would be very boring to do on screen so we're going to grab three string here one two three and go ahead and craft this and I think what you do is you just click on the animal with the net. Was it something like this right here? Nope. Uh, here? <laughs> nope. Dang it. Where'd it go? Animal net. There it is. Oh, I was way off. <laughs> and then that. There we go. So I think with this, now I don't know if it'll catch any animal. Is this just hatchery? Yeah, it's hatchery. So I don't know like if we can catch pigs and cows and stuff. But I don't know how you'd fit a whole cow in there, but I guess we could try. Right? Oop, oh, we sure can. That's pretty cool. And it doesn't look like it takes durability. So if we come here, this is awesome because it's going to give us a way to uh, move our, our things. And we put the chicken in there. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, he lost his hat, though. <laughs> so we have a bunch of chickens in here. And how do we see your stats? We need an empty hand. And go here. It's at 50. Oh, dude. We're getting feathers. That's good. And we got Nate. So this guy is here. He is doing his thing. It says next drop. And how are these guys doing? I just wanted to quickly see these guys real quick. Oh, we're at 30 minutes, which is too long, but we I wonder I wonder like when they're done if the curtains open up. <laughs> or if they just start for round two. We're almost there. Hey. This is a private party, buddy. Get out of here. Get out of here. These guys aren't much of a challenge if you know <laughs> I do like the animal net. That's pretty awesome. All right, so we're at 97, 98. Come on, baby. <laughs> Literally, show me the baby. <laughs> 99, and boom, a heart. So now if we come in here, we can see we have a new log chicken with a growth two, gain three, and strength two. So what I normally do is I'll take that one and replace it with that one. And then this guy, we don't even need anymore because if we look at him, let's bring him out here because he's dead to me. He's just a one, 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 right? So we place him, you see he's just a one, one, one. If we use this analyzer thing on him, even though we already know him, we can see it shows here that he's tier one, growth one, gain one, strength one, and seven minutes. So it gives me that same stuff. However, it's using up a, a durability. So I'm not sure what the real usage of that is. But look at that. He's dead. And he's dead to me. He didn't give me any feathers, but he did give me a ooh, what's inside. So we'll be able to do that. Um, I'm only going to keep the strongest of the chickens. So now that we have the uh, guy in here, the why does it not show this person? Oh well, uh, growth two, gain three, strength two. I'm assuming this goes up to ten. I need to get more seeds in there. What we'll want to do is. Um, <coughs> Get those guys up to 10, 10, 10, and then get them in a permanent little roosty thingy uh, where they're just going to they're just gonna live. They're going to be our little slave and just give us wood, wood galore. Even though wood's really not a big deal for us right now, is it? Uh, we got more than enough. So here we go, 19. All right, guys. Well, I think that does it. Here we got this guy doing his thing. He's giving us feathers. He's giving us feathers. How many eggs are in this thing? That's... Uh, where? Oh, I don't have an egg. So, and this guy is... Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. <laughs> Boom! And as you can see, he is a 2-2-3. Two, two, so actually we could take him where that uh wand oh i have it right here so we could take him oh but he's a baby yeah i don't think that's gonna work right oh now he's full <gasps> oh we just found a cheat <laughs> if you shrink him up he turns into a big chicken so let's go ahead and do this and this so this means these guys are pretty much the same which means the Generally what happens here is the growth will go up at least one the game all of those should go up one because we're same on both sides And we're gonna kill off this guy. All right guys. Well, I think that does it for this episode Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it If you did be sure to leave a thumbs up down below Aside from that comment like and subscribe follow me on Twitter check out my discord and my other channels And don't forget about my great big game giveaways. When I hit 1,000 subs to do this too. When I hit 1,000 subs, we're giving away uh, 57 Steam games. And then when I hit 500 subs, we're one egg really? Uh, when I hit, uh, I don't remember how many subs. <laughs> when I hit 500 subs, we're going to be giving away a Steam game of $60 value to one lucky subscriber. So maybe you'll be that subscriber. Who knows? And you'll get to choose a cool game. Um, did I already say check out my Discord channels? Check out Tazcraft. Uh, 
me and the other Taz crafters are usually on there uh, happy to chat with people so you want to chat with us that's a great place to do it and that's it uh, until next time I'll be seeing you later bye